Mars in Leo. Leo is the king or queen. This is why I would call a Mars in Leo aggressively passionate. They are full of heart. They are the bravest of all the signs. They will go headstrong into something that they believe in, including their relationships. They need to matter. I mean, they know that they matter. It's not even a question. They are the king. So they need to create the world around them that is their kingdom. Their actions have no trouble doing that. Leo is creative energy. It's self-expression. So if you have a Leo in Mars, you probably have some kind of creative hobby or maybe you are in the artistic field of some sort and they love to perform. They have an extremely commanding presence. They walk into the room and they take center stage without trying. They're also usually fueled by a sense of destiny, like things that are meant to be. I think of the character King Arthur when I think of a Leo because King Arthur was the example of the epitome of English king for all of the other kings in real life to follow. And obviously there was a sense of destiny in his story, magic and love and romance and drama and everything that a Leo was all about. And of course, there's Excalibur. He was destined to be king. Nobody else could be king. Because of this sort of feeling of destiny and determination, other people follow you. Leo has a magnetic energy because of the big heart and because of the bravery. Also, a lot of characters in TV shows and movies are written with the traits of a Mars in Leo because we just love that unabashed, head towards what you want, get what you want, and don't feel apologetic about it. I guess a Mars in Leo is like a walking mantra for the rest of us. The book, The Secret, you know, a Mars and Leo just comes naturally with this idea. Manifesting is like breathing. Because their actions are larger than life, they are the pattern for a lot of characters in movies and TV shows. Their life seems like a TV show or a movie. And there's always a lot of swagger and style and flair and personality. They will never go unnoticed. A Mars and Leo often also has a good sense of humor, an innocence to them that is very charming, like a rock star. While they're all about self-expression, that doesn't mean they're selfish. They're very giving, generous people, and they are very sincere. Depending on the rest of their chart, they're not typically the ones to be cheaters or liars because they're the king. They don't need to. Thank you. Thank you very much. As in Mars and Leo, you attract lots of attention, and you know it. You know how to hypnotize. You're always putting on a show. It's not necessarily for just other people's benefit, it's for your own benefit. You enjoy it. It keeps life interesting. Usually a Mars and Leo doesn't like to get too um, severe. They like to stay in a more lighthearted realm, a playful realm, keep things fun. While some do act selfishly and pompously, often that just makes them even more charming to us. Like the villains in TV shows that you just love to watch, you love to hate them. Can't take your eyes off of them. And why is this? Well, we love to see someone who is full of passion and someone who is completely and utterly brave. They walk through fire. They are the fire. And they do this with an open heart. Because uh, Leo is a fixed sign, a Mars and Leo knows how to get things done. They stick with something usually until it's finalized. They also always have a style and they shine while they're doing what they're doing. They can make things look very easy, especially when the task in front of them requires some star power, as in leadership or decision-making, executive power, speeches, comedy, performance, socializing. And what gets them more angry probably than anything else would be disloyalty or when people lie. As a king, there's a nobility to them. They believe that right is right and wrong is wrong. And if you don't act with honor and you are trying to win something unfairly, that is very, very distasteful to a Mars and Leo. And they can get downright vicious. They are a lion, okay? Have you ever seen a lion in nature going after its prey? They are pretty carnal and brutal when they attack. They are the beast. And when they attack you, they're probably not even thinking. They just might go red. They're working off of intuition and animal instinct. They're a fire sign. There's no stopping them. Once the chase begins, they are going in for the kill and there is pretty much nothing you can do to stop them. 
unless they love you. Their open heart can be wooed by the right person. Their royal family might be able to talk some sense into them. Usually, uh, just like a lion, a Mars and Leo likes to work in teams or packs, and they often like to be the leader. If they're not the leader, they at least want to be the star. Okay, you can do all the work, you can do the managerial stuff, and I will do the fun stuff. All right, sexually, a Mars and Leo is very powerful. Passion, passion, passion. They usually want their relationships not to just be a one night stand. They want it to be that king and queen kind of feel. They want to have all the romance. They might also propose to you on your first date if they really think you're the one. They are extremely brave. If you give them compliments, there is pretty much no end to the passion. All they ask from you in return is that you make them feel loved. Maybe worshipped? Worshipping is really a huge turn on too. And they will make sure to be your very best in bed. They will put all of their heart and all of their soul and all of their energy into satisfying you, as well as themselves. I mean, come on, a king is still a king. They are exhibitionists. Um, their sexual fantasy is probably, well, obviously royalty, luxury, excess. A fantasy might be a castle or romance while traveling the world staying at a luxury hotel, things like that. Could also be um, a fantasy of passion, not necessarily luxury, so just a fantasy about just wanting each other so much that you can't control it and you just destroy the whole room kind of thing. They are not attracted to someone who is not attracted to them. They usually will only go for someone once they first see that initial gleam in the eye. They do not want to be turned down. If you are a woman with a Mars in Leo, you are attracted to a man who could be a performer, passionate, very suave, very commanding presence. People just defer leadership to, walks in a room like royalty. Someone who has a good sense of humor, someone who's playful, and someone who likes the finer things in life. Alright, hope you guys like my take on Mars and Leo, and come back for the next video. Subscribe.